Fragrance Fiends Familia, welcome back to another episode of Fragrance Fiends with your man Frank C. Um, today I'm going to talk about a, um, this is from a house that I'm not really, I don't really have a lot of, um, I've heard a lot about it, but I haven't really smelled anything from it, I don't have any really familiarity with it, I hear a lot about it, you know, basically in Farrakhan, it's not, it's not a mainstream house at all, um, it's, um, it's a house that has a lot of flankers, um, they've been around for a long time, um, and this is from the house of Jesus del Pozo, a Spanish house, and that was called um, Halloween. And, um, you know, the Halloween fragrance, when I started with Halloween, I think Halloween came out in like 2012 or something, something to that effect. They had a lot of flankers since then, I've ignored all of them. But there's something about this one, I, I did my research on it, and um, I like the notes. And uh, today's fragrance I'm going to be talking about is called Halloween Man X, from the house of Jesus del Pozo. Uh, form, from the house of formerly called Jesus del Pozo, now it's called Halloween. Um, it's Halloween Man X. All right, it's a really nice bottle, uh, black bottle. The juice is kind of uh, grayish. Uh, you can see right there, kind of grayish, uh, radiant. Um, you know, from dark to gray. Really nice. Um, heavy cap is plastic. Um, you know, the Jesus del Pozo um, released a, a scent called uh, Quasar uh, back in the early '90s. I have that one. That's a, a vintage bottle. I got that recently. Uh, I might do a review on that. Uh, that's really nice. It has like banana type, tropical type um, uh, vibe going on there. This one, because I never smell any of other Halloweens. Uh, this one I uh, I've heard about it as a release, and then when um, Ashton from uh, Gent Sense did a, a review on it, that's what kind of compelled me to go out and go out and get it. And it's actually my I've worn it uh, had it for about. Uh, I mean, about 10 days now, I've worn it a few times, um, and um, I wore it today actually. It's really good, it's really good. Um, this is one of those scents where I, uh, I spray it on and I get nose blind to it, I get, uh, um, you know, astronomic to it, so I, I don't, I can't really smell it around me, but um, other, pe other people can smell it, smell it around me. Um, this one has, uh, I'm just gonna spray it again. I can spray it with a spray, you know, you know I can still, Smell it really, really nicely. I mean, I put it on maybe about two hours ago. You know, it's still there. Um, I would say the projection, but I say the projection is moderate. I would say it's not like a beast mode projection or anything. Let me just put a fresh spray on real quick. Okay, nice spray right there. Nice spray. Comes out pretty nice. Just refresher right there. Okay. Now this this one, um, it has uh, some citrus notes in it, but the main thing. Is is running through this fragrance is, is called Blackjack. It's a black called Blackjack Accord. It's an accord that was invented by the perf perfume of this. Um, can't recall who that is at, at this time. I don't know if it's listed or not. But the Blackjack Accord is basically um, it's it's coffee, um, it's coffee, whiskey, and leather. That's the Blackjack Accord. And out of all those scents, coffee. Which I love coffee. Coffee, I uh, can't live without coffee. I have to have at least one coffee a day in the morning. Right now I'm drinking uh, a uh, La Colombe, uh, really good uh, latte in a can. Can latte, that from one of my uh, favorite local coffee shops. Um, but the coffee note is is what is most prominent in this uh, scent. Uh, it smells just like a roasted coffee bean. I mean, there's other things going on in here. I said some citruses, there's other things happening, some sweetness, but um, you know, get a little bit, a little bit of the leather, a little bit, a little bit of the whiskey in, in the back background, a little bit of the leather, but it's that coffee, the coffee note that really uh, sets it off, and that's what I like about it. And um, you know, I actually was actually in a coffee shop earlier, and the, and the girl at the counter was like, "Oh, you, you smell like coffee?" I was like, "Oh, yeah, it's, it's, it's the scent that I'm wearing." So, um, so people can smell it around you. Uh, I myself really can't smell unless I get right about here. I smell it and I, you know, I move. I can kind of feel it. You know, I can kind of feel it still uh, lingering around. But it, uh, the projection uh, from my use, like, like I've worn it, this is maybe like the um, maybe second or third good time I've worn it. Um, you know, other times I've just been testing it. So uh, you know, I, 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 I'm just getting, you know, um, 
I've had it for a couple of days. I, I haven't, for about, you know, about a little over a week, so I haven't uh, really gotten a lot. Of, you know, I haven't seen how it performs in the fall, which is, which is coming up. I mean, I can say the smell of it smells like like a fall winter type scent. It's in the same vein, and people say it smells like arrows. This doesn't smell like arrows, so I can tell you that right now. It doesn't smell like arrows. But I see what they say as far as the sweetness and as far as the weight of the fragrance. Like uh, Eros is a, uh, is a heavy fragrance. And I wouldn't wear Eros in hot weather. Like right now, we're having like 80 to 80 degree weathers, weathers right now where I am. So, um, you know, uh, it, it's, it's, not, um, it's, it's, it's not heavy. You know, it's sweet. It's, it's, the coffee is great. But... Um, I think, I think it's a good year all, all uh, let's get the coffee again. I think it's a good ye all year round scent. You know, I wouldn't classify it as, as a fall or winter scent, even though it has that vibe because of the sweetness. Because the weight of it is not really, is, the weight is not really there for it to be a, a heavy scent like a, um, like an Amen or a Pure Havan or, you know, Versace Arrows or one of those other sweet fall wintery type scents. It's, it's not that, it's not like that at all. Yeah, yeah, like I said, it, it's, it, it has that sweet vibe, especially with that coffee in there. The coffee is what really sets it off, but it, the weight's not there for it to be a, you know, primarily a fall or winter scent. I would think it's a good year rounder. And, uh, you know, it's, 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 it's a good scent. It's, it's, it's a really good scent. Um, you know, it seems like it's, it's um, you know, when I first started watching this, it really just came out in 2019. I first started watching this a few months back, maybe um, back in like May or something like that. And I was looking at the discount, it was like $25. You know, twenty-eight dollars now. I don't know if the supplies are dwindling or it's getting more popular, but now I see the prices starting to shoot up. I got this for thirty-six dollars off eBay, actually. So uh, I think the prices are going up on it. Um, there might be some noise made about it, but really, the only um, there's one. There's a, there's a review in Spanish, um, and there's another quick review. There's really not a lot of good, good, full, in-depth reviews on this. Uh, besides uh, Ashton from uh, Jensen, so now um, from me because I'm, I'm giving you my um, my review on this. Like I said, it's more of a first impression slash review. I mean, I've, I've worn enough to really talk about it and tell you how it performs and just you know how it's been performing for me the last two or three times I've worn it. But I haven't got the full gist of how it performs in the winter and stuff like that. So um, if you see it. It's definitely worth picking up. I, I think it's going to be a good one for the fall coming up. Um, winter, is, I, I think it's a good year-rounder. I, I think it'll do well in um, all occasions. Like I said, right now, the weather's like in the mid-80s. And I, I wore this today with no problem. So, uh, you see it out there. Halloween Man X from uh, Jesus del Pozo. Now, it's called Hall it's Halloween, for Halloween. Halloween Fragrance. So, Halloween Man X by Halloween. Good scent, you see it, pick it up. All right? So, Fragrance Fins Amelia, thank you. Thank you for all the support. Um, you know, uh, like, share, rate, subscribe. Um, you know, as time goes on, I want to kind of get some, some more ideas uh, pumping, get, get some more things going. Uh, my next, uh, probably, um, a few, few videos from, from now, I want to maybe set up a giveaway uh, for something. Uh, we'll see. But, you know, until then, uh, thank you for the support, and I'll see you in the next one. Take care.